Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. Did you ever get a cut and that cut started to bleed? I had a small paper cut and it actually bled a lot. And that led me to think, what is blood and what does it do for the body? Well, that's the big idea today. We're going to take a closer look at what blood does in our body. Luckily, I have my good friend Rachel C. to help us figure out what is the purpose of blood. We're going to use Rachel to take a look at three very important organs, the lungs, the heart, and the kidneys, and see how they work with blood in our bodies. So which organs do we start with? Well, take a deep breath in. Well, that means air is going into my lungs. Here are Rachel's lungs. When we take a deep breath in, oxygen from the air goes into our lungs, and our lungs passes that oxygen into the blood. Let's take a closer look at this to see how that happens. We've zoomed in so you can see a very simple model of the lungs. The pink balloons, that, those are our lungs, and the yellow balloon is actually a special muscle that helps our lungs to work. And as that muscle moves, you can see our lungs work. As we take a breath in, our lungs fill with air, and then the oxygen from that air is passed into the blood. As our lungs work, oxygen moves into the blood. But where does it go from there? So we have all that oxygen in our blood. How does that oxygen get to every single cell in our body? What moves that blood through our body? To figure that out, we have to take a look at Rachel. Here are her lungs. That's what takes in the oxygen. But when we pull these lungs off, we can see the next organ that moves our blood to every cell in our body. And that's right here. And that's called the heart. The heart is a muscle about the size of a fist, and its job is to pump the blood throughout the body. Let's zoom in and take a closer look to see how the heart actually works. We've zoomed in so you can see our heart model. It has very simple parts. This part up here is the pump, and these tubes are the pathways that our blood is going to travel through. It's not real blood, it's just food-colored water. As I pump, watch right here to see the blood moving. Look closely. The blood is traveling through these pathways throughout my entire body. As it pumps, blood moves. So we have blood moving throughout all of our body. Well, that blood needs to be cleaned. And to find the special organs that cleans our blood, we have to move all these other organs that are in front of them. So. Let's take out the liver, the stomach, and the intestines. Take this out. And you'll notice these two bean-shaped organs that scientists call our kidneys. We've zoomed in to take a closer look at our kidneys. What I want you to really see is that each of these kidneys has pathways going into them and out of them. As the blood goes into the kidneys, they're cleaned, and it comes out totally clean blood. Here we have a model to show you how the kidneys work. We have our dirty blood, and the kidney really is nothing more than a filter. It's going to clean out all of this dirty water, except we don't have water inside of us. We have blood. So let's pour it in and watch what happens. Take a look as it's dripping down. That's clean. Why? Because the kidney is filtering all the dirt out. So we've looked at three special organs to see what they do. Two of those organs, the heart and the lungs, help bring oxygen to every cell in our body. Our other organs, the kidneys, help clean our blood. If you want to learn more about organs and how the human body works, check out our links in the video description. We also want to give a big shout out to Maria for providing us with our SketchUp of a kidney. Science is so cool, the human body is so cool. Thanks for watching.